morning. Um, it's about 8.07. Um, I just prepared some breakfast and coffee, and I'm going to eat and drink that. And then um, I have some plans today so to, to go visit my friend in Denton. Um, so we'll see what vlogging looks like today. I have this um, window mount for my camera, my phone, and so I might try and record as I'm driving and going. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I hope to finish eating breakfast. I might watch um, one or two YouTube videos while I do that. And then go take um, some vials to the print shop to get printed. Um, and then I'll head to Denton. Um, when I come back, I hope to get some chores done and, um, do some art. Sorry if this is just, like, a checklist of the things I'm doing on Tuesdays, but, you know, comment what you want to see and I'll try and make it happen. My outfit might change several times today. Don't think it's a different day. It's just cold this morning, so I'm wearing a hoodie, but it's probably going to get warmer later on today. So, yep. Welcome to Tuesday. store I think it'll be good um, they are going they couldn't run some proofs for me right away because um, they were a little tied up but I should be able to look at the proofs when I get back from Denton and then um, hopefully those will be printed by the end of the day sorry attorney um, so when I get back I'll approve those hopefully um, or make adjustments and while they're printing those, I will go to the art store, get some stuff from our apartment, run some errands, stuff like that. Um, by the way, last night I had a dream about markers. So I'm really excited to go to the art store today because I 
have been using Copics and I really enjoy them. The problem is they run out so fast. Um, so I saw a review on s some Windsor and Newton Pro markers, I think they're called. Um, and I've heard they're a lot like Copics, but they don't run out as fast. Um, so I'm going to try those, I think. Um, so I dreamt about them last night. <laughs> um, yep, so I'll do that and probably get some other stuff. Um, I just really like going to the art store. So if I do a haul, maybe I'll video it for you guys. Um, I also hope to get some cool stuff in the mail. So I, there might be some unboxing. We'll see. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. I think it's going to be a good day. The weather's beautiful. It's like clear blue skies. Um, and it's a little crisp and cool. So yeah. just brought all the stuff in. Hi Merle. Um, you know, minus my sweater and my bag. Um, I have some art stuff. This is our cat litter. And then these two boxes should be more art stuff plus parts for my new computer, which I'm so excited for. Um, my husband's helping, helping slash just building me a new computer, which will make editing so much faster. Maybe I can do some 3D modeling again, and it'll just be so great. It's probably not the best angle with the light right behind my head. Um, I'm sitting on my office floor, and I'm going to do a brief um, art haul go go through and unboxing. So get ready. Okay, I'm gonna do this art haul first. So. Um, this is from a store in Denton called Vortman's, obviously. Um, it's a store I used to go to a lot when I was still in art school. Um, I visited my friend there today, and she mentioned they had really good prices on Copics. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at what I got. I was going to go and get some Windsor Newton Pro markers because I heard those last longer than Copics, but my friend convinced me, you know, it's really more cost-effective to buy refills for Copics than anything else. So, um, I got a couple of skin tones. I'll show you those. So I got this, um, fruit pink. There we go. Um, or E02. I got a E00 cotton pearl. Um, and I got an E33 um, sand. Um, gosh, this is how cheap comics are uh, at this store. Normally they're like eight bucks a pop um, here in Texas. I don't know if it's different other places. At this store, um, $5.99. And um, the chows were only $3.99. So, yep, feeling pretty good about my purchases. Um, I got this color for like shading. Um, this is Champagne E71. I got this nice um, agate, agate blue uh, B99. And this slate gray, which is a BV29. Um, I also, oh, and I also got this green, green gray. I like muted colors, you can't tell. Um, also, I've seen quite a few, particularly Fran Nerd. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with her. She's great. Check her out, link in the description. Um, she recommends Prismacolor color erase pencils, prim uh, specifically or primarily for like, under drawing your Copics or watercolors because they tend to fade, which that's been a thing that I've had trouble with Copic Mark Copic Copics. I don't know. I like Copic 
It's going to say it that way. Sorry. Um, I was looking for something that would be more hideable with coping markers because my pencil lines tend to stand out. Um, so the Vortman's only, they're phasing out the Prismacolor color race, so they only had brown. I got two of them, they're 25 cents. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby to look for a pack, they didn't have them. So if I love these, I'm going to kick myself for not buying all the ones they had. Um, I kind of wanted to try a different color than brown, which is why I didn't buy all of them. But, um, you know, we'll see. I'm sure Amazon has some if I can't find them. Also got these two Princeton or Snap um, teeny tiny brushes. Uh, it's a zero and a two zero. Um, I hope to use these for outlining watercolors. So, yep, that's the end. Well, I also went to Hobby Lobby and got these. You can see them. Um, I am doing an art show in February and I wanted to have a couple of smaller pieces for people with a tighter budget. So that's what those will be. I also got my prints today. So hopefully um, I'll update my Etsy store and it'll be live soon. So um, yeah, I look forward to that. Okay, so I just finished um, unboxing some things and taking some pictures of the prints I got made. Um, it's actually the like proofs that turned out. So uh, the prints will be in tomorrow um, and then they should be ready to ship out. I'm waiting, I have some stiff envelopes um, but I'm waiting on a pack of more from Amazon so hopefully those come in soon. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and edit those pictures and then transfer a watercolor sketch I had onto some nicer paper so that I can make a actual piece out of it that I can make into a print. Um, probably watch some YouTube while I do that, uh, or friends, but if I end up getting to watercolor, then I will record that. Otherwise, I'll pop back in to say bye. So, I didn't do much actual art today, which normally would discourage me. But I got so many art supplies um, that I'm really excited about. Uh, I will... I don't think I'm going to be able to test them out today for this vlog. This vlog is already getting pretty long because of uh, the material I have. <laughs> So hopefully I can record me using them throughout the week and I'll put that in next week's vlog. Or I'll wait till Tuesday to use them, but I don't think so. That's for a long time. Um, on a high note, I have almost finished editing all my pictures for Etsy and I have a couple of drafts of listings saved. So as soon as all of those are edited, I will upload it and do a big launch. I would like to record a video for that. Um, for those of you who are watching or who watch my videos, I will put a link in the description or a note in the description or at the end of this video once I have it set up about a coupon for my Etsy store to like reward you guys for watching these. Um, I'll probably also have one for my Instagram followers. So, stay tuned. Look out for that. Um, it's been a good Tuesday. I am so excited about all the things I got in the mail. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you guys want these to be more structured with more of a topic to talk about, let me know. Um, if you like seeing things like sketchbook tours, also let me know. I think I'll probably have one next week because I'm almost done with a watercolor sketchbook. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next week and happy Tuesday slash Friday.